Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create purchase orders using Google Apps Script. And basically what this does is you can fill in the information you need for a purchase order. And I use the purchase order template that Google Sheets provides and populate the fields that are needed to create a purchase order. So you got the vendor here, I got date, invoice, purchase order number, ship date, ship via terms, the vendor information, the items, and the totals. But with this, also, I'm keeping track of the vendors that you're using. So you can keep a list of your vendors, you can keep a list of your items as well. And then when you're done creating a purchase order, you're keeping a log of each purchase order you create. And it's also keeping track of the total. And I also got one setting here that keeps track of your purchase order number, so it increments every time you create one. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to clear the form. I'm going to select a vendor. I'm going to give it an invoice number. A ship date. I'm just going to select it. A ship via. Let's say UPS. My terms. B and my shipping and handling cost, which I'll say $50. Uh, the items I want on the purchase order, I'm going to select item 1, give it a quantity. I'm going to add that one. And I'm going to select another item, item 55, and I'm going to switch the quantity to 2. Add that item. And again, I'm keeping track of my big list of items that I could keep track of the item description and unit price of all my items. That way I can make quicker POs by just selecting which, which items I need for the purchase order. So here I'm going to go back to my form here and I'm going to just hit create purchase order and now it's going to generate my purchase order. From there I can just print this off. I filled out all this information, the vendor information, with this information here, this is what you fill out. This is static information as well as your ship to. This is the stuff that changes the vendor, the date, the invoice, purchase order, ship date, ship in terms. Adds the items, the quantity, the unit price it pulls off from the list here. And keeps track of the total price by adding that. Then you got your subtotal, your shipping handling, your tax rate comes from your vendors. It's one of the fields in your vendors, your tax rate over here, and then your sales tax, and then your total. So that's pretty much it for how this works. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. Let's get started. Here I'm on Google Drive. I'm going to get started creating a new Google Sheet. So I'm going to go to my Drive. I'm going to go to Google Sheets. I'm going to click this arrow. I'm going to go from Template. And here I'm going to grab the purchase order template, which I can find here. I'm going to click that. It's going to go ahead and bring it up for me. And right now I'm just going to keep the name purchase order up here for my Google Sheet file name. And down here I'm going to change this to print PO. So if you're following along real close and you're going to try to replicate this and edit it later I I always write my code around the names down here so it's important once we get to the Google Apps script of this that if, you, if you're trying to copy this to get the the sheet name as I have it okay the only thing I'm gonna do on this sheet is I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna click this down arrow over here and I'm gonna extend these all out just so you can see what's going on and how I build this is I delete all these lines out and add the items I need in. So I'm just going to expand that out for now. So I got this created. Now I'm going to create all the sheets I need. So I'm going to start by creating a main sheet, which is POs. I'm going to move that into the first spot. So I got this is where I'm going to build my form to create with the buttons on here. And the next, I'm going to add my informational sheets, vendors, and 
items. Peel log. And settings. Next thing, I'm going to start by my settings. I'm just going to start. Here's where I'm going to keep track of my PO number. So I'm going to start with this number here. Next, I'm going to lay out my PO log. Next, I'm going to lay out my item sh sheet. With this item sheet, I'm just going to add some items in here. That's all for my item sheet. Next, I'm going to do my vendor sheet. From there, I'm going to add in some vendors here. So it takes care of my vendor sheet. For listing all my vendors, next I'm going to work on my main form here, setting all that up. Next I'm going to set up a data validation on my ship date. So I'm going to select data validation. I'm going to select date. We hit save there. Uh, next I'm going to do a I'm going to change this. I don't want this to change this to vendor. Next I'm going to do a drop down for my vendor. So I'm going to go to data validation. Uh, list from range and I'm gonna select this select vendor go down here and I'm gonna go down to 500 that way we can have 500 vendors I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna hit save we'll go back over here now I should have a drop down for my list here I'm going to do the same thing for items here. I'm going to go to data, data validation. I'm going to click here, go to my items, select here, go down, make this 500. So we could store up 500 items as well. Go back over here, and I got my list of items. Next, I'm going to create my buttons and then then I'll move over to the Google Apps script show all the functions and then I'll assign the functions to the buttons but I'll create the buttons first here so we're gonna go insert drawing select our button box here So I did create PO, I just put it in there and bolded it. I'm hit save. I can move it up here. Create another one. I'm 
going to do one more for my add part. Okay, so I got my three buttons um, built and created. So next I'm going to move over to my Google Apps script. So I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to go to Script Editor. I'm going to name my project. Purchase order. And then I'm going to copy in the code and then I'm going to go through everything I'm doing. So. so there I have it copied. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so the first function I'm doing is add item. And that goes to this button here. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting an item here, giving it a quantity. And I'm hitting add item. And what that's going to do is that's going to add a row down here. And I'm keeping track of which items I want to add to the PO. Because then when I hit create PO, those items down here are going to go right here in these rows right here. So, so in this one, I'm doing a decoration of all active sheets here with the SS. I'm declaring my PO sheet here, and I'm declaring my item sheet here, because these are the two of them. I mean POs here. That's my main form here. So again, I'm just working in this form here. So I'm going to grab the last row of the PO sheet, and I'm going to add one to it. So that's going to give us the next open available row on that form, which will be right now 17. So there, I'm getting the part and quantity from my selection. Right here, these two. And then I'm going to go to my item sheet. I'm going to go try to find the part within the list. And if I find that part, I'm going to grab the description and unit cost of that. So again, I'm doing a for loop using this last row item. Last row of the item here. I think I missed that statement. Here I'm getting the last row of my PO sheet. I'm also getting the last row of my item sheet because it's going to go through all that list. I'm going through each row in that item list. Here, I'm going through each one of these and trying to find the item I selected. And then from there, if that part equals the part I selected equals a row in that sheet, then I'm grabbing more information, the description and unit cost. And then once I get that information, I'm populating on the next available row on my main form, that PO sheet. So it's going to populate the part, description, quantity, and unit cost. And I'm using that set number format, give it a dollar. So that concludes that add item here and I could go ahead and add that in here which I can right click click there assign script and there I got to assign so I'm going to go back to my Google Apps script we're going to go through the next function which is the main function is actually populating the PO so basically taking all this information and populating the print PO here. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm declaring my active sheets with SS. Then I'm declaring my sheets, my PO sheet, my vendor sheet, which stores all my vendors. The setting sheet, which stores my PO number. The print sheet, which is actually the PO itself. That's the sheet we print. And the POs is our form. Um, the next thing I'm doing is I'm getting the values off our form. So I'm getting the name, so which is the vendor, invoice number, ship date, ship via, ship via terms, shipping and handling. I'm getting all that information. So name, invoice number, ship date, ship via terms, all this. Till I come down to my PO number, I'm grabbing it off the setting sheet. I'm adding one to it and I'm setting the number back to that sheet. I'm incrementing it by one, so I have a new number for the next time I print a PO off. The next thing I'm doing, I'm getting the last row of the vendor sheet, 
which is here, because I'm going to go increment through here and select the name that I selected on this form. So if I select John Smith, I'm going to go back over here. As soon as I find John Smith, I'm going to grab all this information in that row. So that's the next statement I'm doing here. I'm going to the last row of the vendor. I'm going through. I'm looking for the name. If I find the name, then I'm getting the company name, street address, city, state, zip, phone number, email, and tax rate. Next thing I'm doing is I'm getting the current date. Um, that's going to be our PO date for our purchase order. That's going to be the date here. So again, I'm getting the date, I'm getting the month and year, and converting it into a string date. This is all JavaScript code. The next thing I'm doing is I'm getting the last row of the print sheet. Now from here, what I'm doing is I'm incrementing through and I'm deleting all the parts off. So I'm starting here with this 27 and I'm cutting through here and this subtotal is what I'm using is my stopping point. That's where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to delete through until I find subtotal. Then I'm going to stop. So that's kind of the next statement here. So again I'm starting with 27 cutting through. As soon as I find subtotal I'm cutting out. I'm keeping the count of how many rows there are and from there I'm doing some math to figure out the last row to print and then I'm running this statement which is starting at 27 and then how many rows which I'm taking my last row to print minus 27 to give me my final number that I need to delete and again I'm keeping the count here I'm doing some math to get this last row to print and I'm making sure it's not equal to zero if it's zero then I don't need to delete anything but if it is then I'm using this delete row statement here to delete those out then after that, I'm adding in all my information, my name, my company name, street address, all the vendor information, all this header information on top of the PO, my shipping and handling, and tax rate. So here's my shipping and handling tax rate. Here's my vendor information, and here's my header information up here. Once I do that, then I'm going to go through and add the parts back in that I have selected in my down here. The parts I select down here, I'm going to add those back into the rows. So from here, I'm getting the last row of the PO sheet, which is my main form, because I'm going to increment through these starting at 17. So again, here's 17, getting the last row. I'm going to increment each row I added. Here I'm inserting a row for each row I added on that form. I'm inserting a row on the PO. So if I go to my PO sheet, I'm adding a row here for each row I have on my form, for each row I have here. I'm doing that. I am getting the values from my form for part, description, quantity, and unit price. I'm doing some totals here for total price to keep a C total. I'm doing some totals for total price to keep a subtotal going because I might have to add in the subtotal. And then once I'm done, and here I've added my row to my PO sheet. Now in that row, I'm going to add the information, the part, the description, the quantity, the unit price, and the total price, which you'll see on the PO sheet, item description, quantity, unit price, total price. Then I get my subtotal. I actually add that here which once I'm done going through everything here then I'm doing my subtotal spot here I'm populating that with the 600 and then I'm keeping this total PO declaring that for the next call which is my PO log and with the PO log I'm declaring my active sheet I'm getting my PO log sheet and then all I'm doing here is getting to the next row available. So let's go over here our log. So here my next row available is two, and I'm going to be populating per PO number customer, which should be vendor here. Be populating vendor, 
issue date, ship date, and total PO. So I go back over here. I'm doing PO number, name, date, ship date, and total PO. So I'm adding that row. And then the last thing is my clear button function here. So what I'm doing is I'm clearing out my whole form. So again, active sheets. I'm grabbing my PO sheet, which is my form, and I'm clearing out all the spots, even the, and then this down here declares out my items. So I'm back over here. Oh, back over here. I'm deleting out all my items, clearing out these and this so I can start over. So let's go ahead and add those functions in. I'm going to do the clear invoice here since I'm right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go back over here. Hit that. Sign script. Copy that. Hit OK. And I'm going to go back over and do my create purchase order. Go back over to the top. Create PO. Hit copy. Hit here. Assign script. Hit OK. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my form, which it should take me through some security check here. Do I wish to continue? Yes. I'm going to select my account. I'm going to hit advanced. I'm going to go to purchase order. I'm going to allow. So it takes me there. I'm going to hit it again. So it clears that out. I'm going to go ahead and populate. I'm going to hit John Smith. I'm going to hit number here. My ship date. I'm going to select that. Ship via. Again, UPS. Terms. FOB. Shipping handling fee. I'm going to say $20. Uh, the item. I'm going to select that. Item 1. I'm going to give it a quantity. And then we'll just add another one, two with a quantity of five, add that, there we go there, and next thing we have to do is just create our PO. So we're going to hit create, it is running, we can go back over here. So we got our totals here, our items, our vendor here. I got this a little too far. I can actually shorten that up real quick. Um, I could just do the state as abbreviated here. So I can go NY. And this is N. I can go ahead and do that again. I get create. I'll clear that up. So there we go. We got the New York. So our vendor looks good. We got the date, invoice, purchase order, number, ship date, everything looks fine. Our totals, our tax rate, tax, and our final dollar. Go over our PO log. Here I did two copies of it. The first one I fixed the state and it laid another copy in for me as well. So, and it changed my PO number. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.